Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about Aggregate Supply Shocks and Policy Dilemma. In this video we will look at the impact of a negative aggregate supply side shock and the policy dilemma that ensues for governments. So we have a model here with long run aggregate supply and short run supply and demand in equilibrium. We have a given price level and GDP as well. When we look at an aggregate supply side shock, what we see is, and this can come from things such as an increase in the wage rate, an increase in oil prices or something like that, which causes the short run aggregate supply curve to shift to the left. So an adverse shock in this case, a leftward shift. Now a leftward shift of aggregate supply short run would cause the entire curve shifting leftwards as shown. We can indicate that with our arrows. And what we will say is we reach short run aggregate supply one with a new equilibrium point in the short run point B where the price level is now higher at P2 and the output level is now lower at GDP2. So in this case here, what we have is a classic example of what we call stagflation. So stag and flation here. And stagflation is a combination of rising prices, inflation, with falling output. So stagnating real economy in output and an inflating economy in terms of prices. So what this opens up is a gap in the economy and what Keynesian policy would suggest is that fiscal policy can be used to close that gap. So he would advocate fiscal policy to manage the business cycle and to manage aggregate demand in particular. The classic example with this type of output gap, which is recessionary in nature because the output level has fallen here, is for fiscal policy to be expansionary. So for it to be expansionary, what would happen is government spending would increase and maybe combined with a tax reduction. What this would cause is greater spending in terms of aggregate demand which would shift the aggregate demand curve rightwards. So if we show this and we show an aggregate demand curve shifting rightwards, what we will see in this situation here is if it shifts to the right enough, and we can indicate that with a couple of arrows here, if the policy intervention, the discretionary fiscal policy is large enough, what it can do is return the economy to point C, which is at its natural output level. So we see the GDP level has returned to its potential output. However, the dilemma that ensues is in terms of prices, because if we bring this new long run equilibrium over to the price axis, what we see is that this discretionary policy has increased the price level even further. So under these conditions, yes, the government can return the economy to its natural or potential output level, but this is trading off higher levels of inflation, which will increase the cost of living, reduce the purchasing power of money, and may have a negative effect on workers in terms of wages and other parts of the economy as well. This is the classic dilemma that ensues following a negative aggregate supply side shock and using fiscal policy to overcome that. I hope you call back to Cultonomics soon. Bye for now.